Hello everyone, welcome back. So first things first, I'm going to be wearing this bow on my hair because my hair was just not cooperating at all. <laughs> So today I've partnered with Vanity Planet to bring you this drugstore makeup tutorial. I'm using their vegan brush roll which is made out of ultra soft premium vegan brush hair which basically means there's no animal cruelty involved in the creating of these brushes and they are shed free and allergen free which is pretty cool. Now make sure you check the description box down below because I do have a huge discount code for these brushes. So to both moisturize my skin and prime my skin, I'm using the Embryolise 24 hour miracle cream. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is actually sold, sold in drugstores, but I know that it's really affordable. So I'm just gonna consider this a drugstore product because it's so good and so affordable and you all need to get on it. <laughs> For eyebrows, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Store pomade in the color chocolate. This is a tiny bit warm for me, but nonetheless, I just built it up and made it work. And I'm using the angled brush that comes in the kit to apply it, which also just worked amazing. So to clean up my brows, I usually use the Tarte Shape Tape, but since this is a drugstore tutorial, I tried out the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 20, and you know what guys, it worked just as good. And then to prep my eyes, I'm also using the Maybelline Fit Me. And then I'm just using the Cody S bun to lock it all in place so we're ready for eyeshadow. So for eyeshadow, I found this Nico K eyeshadow palette for $5. Look how pigmented that is. I found this on beautyjones.com, which is where I get so much of my drugstore makeup. And you guys, I was so impressed with the pigment. Now you'll see, like as I'm blending in, it is the tiniest bit patchy, but it's nothing that you can't sort of just like build up on and get your desired intensity. So I used a total of three shades and this is kind of like a soft cut crease smoky I am doing. Well, it's not a cut crease, but like a soft cut crease. And I went in with a really warm shade, and now I'm just going in with a shade a little bit cooler. And then now I'll just grab a slightly darker brown, which is the coolest shade. So I kind of like transitioned from warm to cool to make it look nice and gradient and obviously darker as it gets more defined in the crease. And then you just want to, of course, make sure you're blending it all together. Now what I like to do with a lot of my looks is use like a white or a cream eyeshadow to highlight my brow bone and also blend it down into the transition color so it gives a nice gradient blend up towards the eyebrow. So basically what I mean by a soft cut crease is that instead of using a concealer, I'm just using a white pigmented eyeshadow to kind of create that definition on the lid like you just saw in that photo which is from my bridal shower and obviously from Snapchat. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, I'll list it down here so that you guys can follow me and see all the makeup looks I do in my day to day life. So now that I've applied that white shadow, I'm just blending the crease all together. And that is it for eyeshadow. And now we're moving on to eyeliner. And for eyeliner, I'm using the oh so famous NYC liner in, I think it's called intense black or something black. There is two types of black and this one's like the blacker black. And then I just like to grab any makeup wipe and clean up any messy bits of eyeliner and eyeshadow around my eye. To coat my lashes, I use the Jordana Best Lash Extreme. And instead of using mink lashes, I decided to double the Ardell Foam Mink Lashes and the Creme Demi Wispies to create that really full lash look. On the picture you saw I was wearing mink lashes but since I'm using vegan brushes for this look I thought it was fitting to also use vegan lashes to go with the flow. <laughs> and there's my lashes. 
So for foundation, I tried another really famous product, the Wet n Wild Photo Ready. And because it's so liquidy, I was like, okay, I better shake that. But oh my God, for $5.99, this foundation was, oh my God, what can I compare it to? It honestly kind of reminds me of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Now, I know that really, really hurts to hear because that is such a high-end expensive foundation. But I think it's actually good because if you don't want to spend the money on that, you can definitely get a similar finish with this $5.99 foundation. Now, the one thing I noticed about this is that it is kind of like a medium coverage, but it is buildable. So you'll see now... On my chin, you can still see my little blemish there and you can also still see my beauty spot above my lip. But I actually really like that about the foundation because it cancels out any darkness and discoloration on your face. But if you do want to step it up that notch and go for severe full coverage, all you have to do is build up on it, which I did. And I was just so impressed with the outcome. So basically, you can do anything with this foundation, which I think is amazing for $5.99. So for concealer, I'm using my favorite drugstore concealer ever, the Maybelline Adri Wide, and I use the color light, and I don't know if you can see, but I was literally right at the end of this tube, so I was on like the last little like twist up of the product, which means I have to go and buy a new one now, but I don't mind because for the price of it, it's just such good value and such a good product, and it's one product that I definitely always just go back and buy over and over. So... To blend my concealer, I did it in a really different way to what I usually do and I used the um, foundation brush and I love how seamlessly it blended out the concealer. It kept every single bit of the coverage. Usually, like sometimes you use a particular brush and it'll eat up some of the product, but because this is a synthetic brush, it doesn't soak up your makeup, which is what I loved most about this brush set because I love the idea of not having to be, I mean... I love having to be generous with my concealer, but I love the idea that my brush isn't going to soak up all my product. And then just to make sure the concealer blends in with my foundation, I just took my sponge and blended all the edges together. So my face looked nice and flawless. So a powder that I use day in, day out, and it is drugstore, is the LA Girl Pro Face Powder. And I use this powder every single day. I actually don't even have a high-end one that I use. This is the only one that I use. And then to bake under my eyes, I used the Cody Urspan, which honestly, guys, could be the most finely milled powder I've ever used in my life. And then just to make sure my face stays nice and matte, I love to apply that all over the rest of my face, which did a really good job of blurring my skin out because the powder is so finely milled. So today I used the Wet n Wild Contour Palette for the first time and the color is called Douche Lecce and I freaking loved this. The contour shade was so beautiful in color and it wasn't patchy. It was honestly perfect for my skin tone and then the banana shade, it wasn't too yellow. It was more of like a pale banana powder which I also loved a lot and I think this was about 6 or $7 and I just cannot understand how these drugstore brands are seriously competing so well with the high-end brands. It's really impressing me today. And because I don't really use drugstore makeup that often, I'm a little shook right now. And this means that I'm going to do so many more drugstore tutorials because I low-key think they're even better than the high-end makeup tutorials. So now I'm just using that banana powder to wipe away the bake. Um, the reason why I like to apply powder on the brush rather than just wiping it away is because I feel like it adds a little bit more coverage and takes away from that whiteness and keeps a little bit of color under the eye. And then I'm just using the short shader brush from the set to contour my nose and I'm just contouring with powder today 
but this brush was a tiny bit dense I should have used something a little bit softer so it did make it a little bit intense but after I contoured I just kind of blended it out and it all worked out So now I'm just using whatever powders left on the brush and then whatever products left on my sponge to just make sure we get rid of those harsh lines and then my nose was as good as new. <laughs> so this was my first time using the NYX Sweet Cheeks blush palette and I literally got my brush and just smeared it along every single colour and I really love the blush colour that came out. It was just a pretty soft natural blush which is what I like. And then to bronze up my face a little bit more, I used the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer. And it's just like a really soft shimmery bronze, which gives your skin a beautiful glow. For highlight, I got my hands on the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Petal Pusher, which, oh my god, we need a moment of silence for this highlighter. It is, to me, it's a dupe for the Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which most of you would know is my favorite highlighter. So I really love this one. Now, I know that it is sold out a lot in a lot of places in the US. I managed to get mine off like a third party site in Australia that sells drugstore products for like triple the price. So I didn't exactly get it for the price point it's meant to be, but I don't care because it was still so worth paying like double the price. <laughs> And then I always like to just bake under my contour so it looks nice and chiseled. So now I'm just, I kind of mix like every color together that I used on my crease and I use that to smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm just using the smaller size blending brush. So there's two blending brushes in the set. There was one bigger fluffier one and this is the smaller one. And then usually I'll just wipe away my bake after I've done my under eye shadow. And then my face is pretty much set. And then I'm going back in with the Jordana Best, Best Lash Extreme on my lower lash line. And this is the way I test a mascara out to see if it's good or not. And as you can see, it was a freaking bomb mascara. So I really, really like this one. And I think it was about $5. I kind of forget the prices of everything. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But just want to give you guys a rough kind of estimate of how much they cost. So to set my makeup, I used the Gerard Cosmetics Mystified. As you can see, it decided to play me. But then after I sprayed it, it started to come out nice and seamlessly. Um, this is is the best product to like melt all your makeup together and what I like to do is just press it in with a brush to make sure there's no like little blotches on my skin and it's really pressed into that product so you know your makeup is not going anywhere all day. For lips I used the City Color Auto Lip Liner in Nude and this was my first time using this lip liner so it's basically just like a wind up one and it's a really nice pigment it comes off on your lips really nicely and it's a gorgeous color and correct me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure this is a 99 cent lip liner so this is definite value for money For lips, I use the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in the color Flawless, which is a really pretty nude. So I decided my lips were just a tiny bit too nude for this look. So I took that pinky nude blush from the palette and I just pressed that into my lipstick. And that basically, you can do that with any eyeshadow or blush and that's going to give you your desired shade for the lips. And it also mattifies it, which ideally means your lipstick is going to last longer. So that's a little beauty hack for you guys. And then you just want to blend it all together to make sure it's all pressed in and lips are done. 
So guys, that is it for my drugstore makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and once again, thank you to Vanity Planet for partnering with me on this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.